Let's say you're playing your favourite Roblox game and all of a sudden this message pops up. Typically, when a developer updates their game, they want to get that update out to the servers as fast as possible. Right now, what the developer can do is click on the three dots and click migrate to latest update. However, this causes the player to get disconnected and it's not really that much of a seamless experience. With soft shutdown, you can get a super smooth updating process, and I'll show you how it works right now. Okay, so here we are as the player having a great time inside of our Roblox game, and let's say our developer has updated the version to a new edition. So what the developer is going to do is they're going to click on the three dots, and then they're going to click migrate to latest update, and then they're going to click on yes. Now for the user, we're going to continue playing the game, and let's wait and see what happens. So this is quite a plain game, but let's say you had a big update and you wanted to pass it out to every single server. This is also better if you have larger games with maybe for example 30 players, or even more and more and more with multiple and multiple servers. So it allows you to quickly get the update to everyone without any problems. Now let's just give it a couple of minutes to work. Keep in mind this process can take 1 to 6 minutes to complete. To speed up the process, instead of using the migrate to latest update button, we can use the shutdown all servers. So let's click on this, and let's see, as you can see, it says rebooting servers for update, please wait. So now how the system works is it's going to wait for a couple of seconds, and it's going to teleport us to a new server. This is a temporary lobby, teleporting back in a moment, and then we're going to get teleported back to the game, and you're going to see it's actually going to be on the latest version. And there we go, we're now on the latest version of the game without being disconnected once. So I think this is a great method if you want to have a soft update system that works super well, and now I'm going to show you on how you can install it. And now I can assure you this is a super simple installation. So first, open up your Roblox Studio. Once you're open, make sure you head to any game of your choice. Now all credit for the soft shutdown script goes to Mayerly here and it is super simple, so head to this post, then let's have a look on the github, wait for it to load, come on my internet's being a bit slow today, then once it's loaded we're going to copy the code, come on, ok here we are, we can copy this code, then once again we're going to head into a game of our choice, let's just do a base play as an example, and once we're inside we're going to insert this script into the server script service, so click plus, new script, and copy and paste the contents inwards. So this script is quite simple once again, I'm not going to explain exactly how it works. This is just the bare bones, so you could also make it look better if you wanted to. However, it creates a duh, so blah blah blah, and as you can see it detects when there's an update, and then it gives us a message on our screen, and then it teleports us to a private server and then teleports us back, but it is a super handy system and I honestly think it is great. So now what we're going to do is to test it out, we're going to publish this game. So let's call it soft shutdown script test. Okay, let's upload it to me, sure, and then let's create it. Okay, and then let's head over to our recent game. So head over to the create board, then head into our recent game, which is this, then view on Roblox, and then let's click on play. Okay, starting Roblox, here we go. Okay, it's going to kick me and get me into a new game. And actually, let's test this out by making a new um, change to the game. So let's head back into Studio, and let's say I change the base plate to be red, for example. So let's click on red, and oh my god, that is not difficult to miss. Then we click File, and Publish to Roblox. You're going to notice, hey, nothing's changed, and that soft shutdown script hasn't taken into play. Well, yes, that's exactly the point. So to get a quick update, we're going to click on the three dots, and then shut down all servers. Then click Yes. And now we wait, oh it says rebooting servers for update, please wait, ok we're gonna wait, and then we're gonna get teleported to our private server, here we go, this is a temporary lobby, teleporting back in a moment, ok and we're gonna go to the latest version, and, come on, you can see that we have the new change, and it was seamless, nobody got kicked, and I think that is a super cool system. So if you found this tutorial handy, feel free to leave us a like or a subscription. Um, if you want to support the channel, you can become a member for only $2 a month. That's all for me. If you have any questions about scripting support, you can head over to our forms, forms.thecookie.dev. That's all for me. Have a wonderful day, and bye-bye.